Uh, many people feel that dust uh, from coal is controlled simply by wetting it with water, but in, uh, it really doesn't do anything to wet coal. Uh, this is just tap water that I'm going to put into uh, two of these beakers. The uh, fact that water does not touch coal, does not wet it at all, can be seen if you add a little bit of coal dust to this first beaker. It, uh, the, the dust will just sit on the surface because of the uh, light weight of the dust particles and the fact that water alone has a surface tension value. Uh, our dust grip turbo, when added to tap water, same water, uh, now the product is designed to be used at 1%, but I am actually going to make this solution up at 0.5%, which it is still effective at that value, and 0.5 uh, in this volume of water would be about 20 drops. Mix it a little bit. Now when I add this, the coal dust to the surface of the uh, dust grip turbo solution, uh, the water will actually start wetting the coal immediately. It wets the coal, it, it adds to its weight, and gravity does the rest. Over time, that all the dust that's in that beaker will fall. Uh, it doesn't fall all at once because that's actually a pile of dust particles. And the water is actually touching the lower layer. It wets the bottom layer and then those particles will fall. And then the next layer will fall in line. And over time, that entire pile will uh, fall to the bottom of the beaker. Uh, Sometimes it's uh, also demonstrated by simply adding one drop of the dust grip turbo to this first speaker that was just water and dust particles, and just one drop at it. It already has an effect. So that's. Uh, what will happen when they apply it underground? Uh, it will allow all those particles to become wet by the water and they will fall to the, to the bottom of the uh, mine floor. We are Quaker, catalysts for business success. Quaker, it's what's inside that counts.